I want to go to Cambridge. There is a complex web of reasons behind that one small aspect of myself. A simplified version of that web of reasons could be, I want to go to Cambridge because I wanted to go to school and subsequently live in the UK because of my dissatisfaction, if you will, with the US's government and the country as a whole. And I defaulted to the UK because of our country's collective anglophilia at the time. I was interested in Cambridge in particular because when I was little, I wanted to go to a school that looked like Hogwarts because I like Harry Potter, because I grew up in a time where Harry Potter was one of the biggest franchises in the world. And I had an affinity for books that was somewhat natural, but also pressured upon me by my peers and teachers because I was one of the smart kids. I also have always liked magic because my mom would tell me stories about fairies when I was little and I watched Peter Pan a lot. That's a very simplified version. And each of those reasons has its own complex web of reasons behind it. For example, my mom has her own complex web of reasons why she told me stories about fairies when I was little. And each of those reasons, and each of those webs of reasons, have their own webs of reasons. And all of these reasons go back through every event that has happened since the beginning of the universe. And the complexity of this does a really good job at creating the illusion of free will. Every single decision we make, every action, every behavior, every thought we have is determined by outside influences. Outside influences can range from anything to our genetic predisposition or other aspects of ourselves that we were born with that aren't necessarily genetic or the circumstances in which we grew up or where we grew up and everything we've ever heard or read all contribute to ourselves. So choices, when we make choices, it's different than our normal natural behaviors because choices are a one-time thing. And usually our choices go with our nature, but sometimes we do things against our normal nature. And if you, the question, when you make a choice that's against your will, the question is why? And the question is why because Everything that happens in the universe has a cause. It's like a mathematical proof, but instead of statements and reasons, it's choices and causes. Even if you were to make a random decision, which would be really hard because humans aren't very good at being random, there was a reason that you chose to make a random decision rather than thinking about it and making an informed decision. When you make informed decisions that go against your will, they are for a reason, just like everything else in the world. So, since everything that you do is determined by something outside of your control, wouldn't that mean that we have no control over our actions and couldn't you come to the conclusion that there is no such thing as free will? So, if there's no free will, can people really be bad? If you were to make a list of people that deserve to be considered bad guys, Adolf Hitler would probably be pretty high on that list. And there was a reason he was bad. So why didn't I turn out bad like he did? 
You could say it's because he chose to be bad. But why would someone choose to be bad? And if he were to choose to be bad, wouldn't that make him a bad person in the first place? <coughs> really, with Hitler and most other bad guys, they're born that way. And a lot of bad guys, including Hitler, is because they're psychopaths. And psychopathy is a somewhat inherited neurological condition where basically you have an on and off switch to your empathy. And scientists think that as many as 3% of people have psychopathic brains. And last time I checked, there aren't 220 million Hitlers in the world. And that's because this bad, really bad people like Hitler only happen when that empathy switch gets stuck in the off position because in their childhood they aren't encouraged to turn it on enough. So even if free will doesn't exist, it shouldn't give you an excuse for your actions. You shouldn't be able to go, oh, well, it's not my fault I did that. I don't have free will. It also shouldn't necessarily change your perspective on your own everyday life because that could send you plummeting into a near inescapable pit of existential crisis. Believe me, I try. Um, but what it should do is change your view on other people. And next time a person is labeled as a bad guy, stop and think for a moment how it might just be possible that it's not their fault.